Is that Zion come? Is that? Aloha, Ash. Hello, hello. Can I actually do that? Am I allowed to say hello? Yeah, <laughs> of course. You are. Hello, hello. Hello, oh, Ash. Hello, hello, Kratz. Hi. Hi. Very good to hello. see you here. Do you know why I'm here? Yesterday, just about this time, I was uh, with a beautiful group of people, well over 10,000 of them, uh, all across the globe. And uh, it was an incredible event. I tell you what, uh, congratulations. And uh, probably many of us who uh, got the chance to attend uh, probably st still have that uh, almost like a hangover in a way. Uh, it was really good, yeah. And uh, since then, I said, I'd like to do this again. I've been uh, hunting for more intelligent people. And I'm like looking where do I find them, uh, find them. And then Mari de Carmo told me, uh, Angie's hosting, uh, hosting uh, a German webinar. I said, are you kidding me? Can I talk? Can I come? I have a lot to say. Well, uh, thank you for allowing me to be here, Angie. We love you. We know that, that, right? Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Incredible. And the second reason is because I'm trying to get a hold of Mike Ellis. I said, where can I find him? And there he is. So we got you, Mike. Very good yeah. to see you. You don't <laughs> have to look very Mike. far to find me, Ash. <laughs> Absolutely. Great to see you here. Uh, I really want to say, uh, and forgive me for those who I missed before, but uh, I heard uh, uh, Brigitte, obviously. I heard Dave. Uh, I, you've been in places I've never been or like in experiences in life that I've never been into. Thank you, Kareem, for the translation. And, and God be with you if you can do my uh, catch up with me. Peter Srur from uh, Masr. Ahlan wa sahlan. Uh, very good to uh, hear you uh, and see you. Uh, and uh, uh, Laverne, uh, I heard you as well. Uh, I see also some other uh, stars that uh, I missed, uh, like Chris Johnson and Cedric. And uh, uh, I believe I also see Tim, Dylan, uh, Dan, Hi, Ash. And, and Julie. Hello, hello. Dirk as well, uh, uh, Herforth, right? Uh, is that how I say your last name? From uh, Germany. So many good people, Frank and... Uh, uh, incredible Sean from uh, and and guess what we have also a superstar from South Africa and one special uh, person Kevin Kevin uh, Ruteldich I believe is how I say it forgive me we all have messed up last name we don't get to choose them so they come with the package you get diapers and you get last name <laughs> I it's just like you don't get to choose hi Marina good to see you Hi, and sorry, I got people here, so the music's blaring, but I'm not going to miss it. Very this. good. What's what's going on? A pre-Valentine's party. Wow. I can imagine what would happen on Valentine's Day. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> this is incredible. Great to have you here. It was a lovely surprise. So I tell you what I can talk about. Uh, I, I've never been in, in, in an experience with, about depression, and I... I might want to uh, say a confession. Uh, uh, a lot of the, the gifting and giveaway, it sounds crazy, but it's more like a selfish, self-centered, driven uh, value that I can get. When I give, I just learn early on that the, uh, the reward of gifting and giving is far more rewarding and fulfilling uh, than, than taking. So it's a simple math. I said, I don't have to work as hard because my happiness, I have to work so hard and uh, maintain my attitude and uh, outfit in a way. But when it comes to focusing on others like Peter was saying and you know homeless people in Michigan in this weather I can't I can't even stand it in 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 a tropical perfect weather needless to say Michigan right now in February or January 
Uh, that's insane. I can't even, you know, take it. Uh, so I thought I would have to work probably not as hard if I focus on others and, and I get distracted by their inspiring issues. This is exactly what happened today. So I'm, I'm listening to you and I'm thinking, uh, it's impossible for somebody to complain after listening to you or to, to give up or quit on something. Uh, so I thought, uh, what do I do? This is exactly what I planned very uh, uh, early on. I would say probably this exact goal, I would probably say, uh, say it here for the first time. And it's just uh, as appreciation to Angie for allowing me to say something, I just, I just wanna give her an exclusive value. Uh, what's my fa financial goal? Do you like to know how much I personally like, like to make? Exact number? You might think billions, trillions. No, no. Uh, you think I want to make a, a small amount of money? No. I am after a big amount of money. I'll tell you exactly what the amount is. For those who know, okay, it's a bulk bag of Benjamin Franklin, I believe, on the $100 Marty or Dan, anyone knows? Okay. Yeah. Uh, about 20, uh, 22 pounds of those. Uh, I don't know in, in, in kilo, uh, how much they weigh. So ch I want to make 22 uh, pounds of those $100 bills every 24 hours. Here's how I thought a while ago, a guy uh, here in the U.S., uh, ironically, he was in Florida. He made one million dollar in 24 hours. And that struck me because at the same time, we were inspired by when a man ran uh, one mile in four minutes, I believe, right? Uh, and then within the next 12 months, 27 other men did the same thing. So the belief was triggered. Okay, once you believe in something, it's, it's a done deal. Uh, so when, when, when this guy made a $1 million in 24 hours from the internet, I said, this is exactly what I want to do. But I didn't know exactly what I want to do with the million dollars because I was thinking, why is it just one time he did it? And that's not net profit. So we're going to talk exactly what Ash Mufar want to make. I want to make 24, uh, every 24 hours, 365 days a, a, a year, I want to make $1 million. That bag of, of uh, 22 pounds of, uh, of $1 bill. That's exactly my goal. And here's the thing, I want to make an extra $1,000. I'll tell you what I'm going to do with the 1,000 and with the 1 million. It's good to be friends with me, by the way. So here's the thing. I want to every day wake up with my family, okay? my small family, I want to wake up just like Peter was talking. I want to think of what can I do with this extra million dollar. I have a budget. I only have until the end of the day. Remember, I wasted maybe seven hours. Who knows if I will ever achieve that many hours of sleep, but say so, okay? Uh, so the remaining balance, the 16, 17 hours of my awakened time, okay, what do I do with that? I have a mission to blow away this uh, $1 million every day. So I'm going to wake up not thinking of myself. I'm going to wake up every day just thinking of what do I do, utilize it uh, wisely and uh, fairly to, to focus on others. So I'm going to be thinking uh, different. You got 365 stories okay every year uh, can you imagine how much inspiration and uh, humbling it will be uh, to make that they don't have to go to one person this is a lot of money so all i'm saying is i just want to make 30 million dollars a month extra and i might want to make for myself and family one thousand dollar every day thirty thousand dollars we are blessed with that more than we need Okay, perfect, happy with it. 
but I want to go to Egypt where Peter is from, okay? Uh, and, and, and you know what a million dollar can do? What if I save up a week of those one million dollars, seven million dollars? Uh, like exchange it in Egyptian pounds? A lot of money, yeah. And, and, and what can you do with it? How many people are going to pray for you? Muslim, Copts, Jews, all kind of faiths. It's, you cannot put money on that. Trillions of dollars. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So uh, uh, I, uh, I seriously think uh, uh, I'm on a mission. And guess what? I'm close to that. Because we have invented something. Uh, and, and that drives me. Because I have a selfish goal. Don't think I'm like that ideal. I'm a human being. But what I'm, it's like reverse engineering. By doing so, I'm being fulfilled. After all, I'm after my happiness. But I think I'm wise enough to pick the, the type of happiness uh, and fulfillment that can complete my life. And it's a done deal. Uh, there we are. So we figured out a way. Uh, we cannot rely on somebody. I gave up because, uh, so every time, let me, let me give you an extension of my compassion. Every time in the past when I reviewed a business model that I want to do, it would be so much easier. I don't have to age as much if I uh, can find a deal that is done, just engage and I just have to share it. It would be a wonderful world. I'll be uh, skinny and pretty and, uh, and, and young. And uh, what I thought every time when I'm reviewing, will this allow me or is it capable of, of giving me uh, my financial goal? That is a million dollar every day. If I don't make $30 million net profit after what I spend on the business, because sometimes you have to spend on the business. Uh, if it doesn't give me that, I wouldn't do it. So sadly, uh, most businesses, not only they don't give you the $1,000 that I need every day for my family or hope to have, okay? Uh, not even, not even a, a penny. It's, it's negative. So I, I thought, uh, there's it, no way. If I want to be happy and not go into total failure, shut down mentally, uh, I'm going to have to do something. So it's... It's logical for you to understand why is it do it or die. I'm, I'm not going to live uh, not only happily. I, I don't know. There's no cause for me to live. There's no purpose for me to live if I don't have something to fulfill me. And that happiness uh, is literally to, to get everything done. So, so if you want to do it mathematically, if I'm able to give $30 million a month or 350 a million dollars a year, give or take, you know. Not gonna complain if I blow up like three million, 300 million sometimes, or 400 million, it doesn't matter, but give or take. Life is not perfect. But, but overall, I will be more fulfilled uh, if I can achieve that. Can you imagine uh, the multiplication of 10 times more fulfilling? I'd be the happiest man got to pay the price remember you got to pay now play later yeah I cannot just okay somebody find or build something for me and I'll, uh, I'll I'll do it and and you realize it's not as easy okay uh, as you go but uh, but like like many things uh, in life uh, like family you cannot refund them if you don't like them so when I signed in for this or signed up for this journey I cannot back up I mean it will be horrible uh, but when you get progress you get more fulfillment because you're closer and closer to your outcome uh, or targeted goal uh, and and you know I, I I think you understand when I say I wouldn't want to be in a different place this is the ultimate for me I was so happy to hear you. that's all I wanted to say I mean I hope uh, and by the way 
uh, n this is no uh, secret. You could you could say it. I am very determined. Okay, uh, that I want to reach this financial goal personally. And I told you exactly what I want to do with the money, and I will disclose it. It's all tax deductible. Okay, and uh, if it's helpful, one day I'll be documenting what I would do with them. Okay, whether daily, weekly, monthly. Okay, uh, uh, you know, with the respect of where I put the money, because sometimes you just want to do it with a bit of, uh, you know, personable and, and, and confidentiality. Not everybody wants to be, uh, to come out in a way uh, when you help them. So I thought if I, if I do that, then what's going to happen is I will inspire you. I didn't say I'm not making anything for me, but for God's sake, we tried to plan how much we can spend in a day. We couldn't come up with like a budget that can suck up this much money, thousand, two, three thousand dollars a day. Like if I make a hundred grand, like that's 10% extra. So then what do I need with, to do with the rest? You know, leave it to, to, to in the business. Users, founders, customers, uh, pre-sellers. So uh, that's why I, it's not an open thing. But uh, when you're talking about the business, I don't mind on passive making trillions, billions. Uh, I don't know if you still use Frank in Germany or Euro. you use Frank? Euro, so Euro. In, in Germany, but, Euro. So no, no more Frank, right? Frank is in Switzerland. Okay, so you still have it there, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the, is that old or like, does it give an impression when you use Euro versus Franc? Whom? The impression to like whom? The, like, like would it say if, if I pull out fr uh, Franc uh, anywhere, like uh, Switzerland or Germany, would it say, oh, this guy is so old school? Like Euro is more or no, they're the same no. it's all money no it's 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 money it's money i think that yeah. they're, they're, it's just singular to, to switzerland because yeah. they have their own currency yeah let's say let's say cryptocurrency will become the the typical money 20 years from now and i pull up us dollar or euro somebody's gonna look at this guy he's old okay he still has like paper money uh, so anyway, uh, without uh, losing the point, uh, when, when you're talking about that much money in, in billions or tri uh, trillions of dollars in the business, I know it's, uh, it's only going to make it stronger, uh, whether making that, uh, uh, you know, satellite and uh, uh, data center, you know, uh, providing internet to uh, humanity and global citizens so all in all if it if it empowers and strengthens my business uh that's not a bad thing i'm talking about personal so just to be clear so if you see me uh achieving billions in, in on passive and and utilizing that in the business in the business again I don't say oh did you get greedy or like no 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 i'm talking about personal i want to have profit whether it's, uh, uh, you know, just uh, I get a salary or however. As of now, I don't take salaries from all I do. Uh, staff uh, in India make more money than myself. Anybody involved in on passive probably makes more than myself. But, but if I'm able to take that um, uh, personal to fulfill my personal uh, needs, that, that's all I need. The rest goes to the business. If it's trillions, billions, many, many millions, it doesn't matter. Why we're not talking thousands? Because it doesn't make sense. We already have half a million customers, so it just it just doesn't make sense. So it's going to be millions. Maybe multiply that a couple of times. It it could get into the billions. Uh, so putting that in the in the right place and and build more. Uh, technology and more businesses and more uh you know reasons that uh, departments for own passive uh it will only make it stronger 
So my conclusion here is I invite you to consider this. If you're like seeing a lot of uh, dark uh, days or things in your life, don't focus on yourself anymore. Start thinking, how can I get to a stage or to, 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 to a state in life where I'm just living to, um, to better somebody's life. And if it's one or one billion, could be a, it could be a dog or a cat. But don't focus on yourself. This is how you fool your mind in a way. Because if you, know, you focus on yourself, listen, if I start thinking about myself today, oh my God, I don't sleep, I do this. Listen, I will be depressed, okay? It, it's not that pretty, okay? Why do I have to do it to work this? Why I don't see my family? Why, I, okay, grump and, and, and moan and, you know, complain and <laughs> I will be depressed. So I have to keep on focusing on something positive, whether creating technology or, or, or value to others or improve others' lives. When you do that, even in one thing, okay, you, you could fall in love with a tree. Just take care of that tree. Just don't focus on yourself. And, uh, and, and you're going to start seeing, wow. It's, uh, and here's the thing. Uh, exactly what happened with me when I start like you put your life for others or good causes it it gives you a level of accountability that you can you cannot back up because you know so and so whether it's a family member relative friend any human being that you feel their life is a little bit better because of you you have to keep that so you have to stay strong it's just you, you should try it i'm telling you you don't need to go to universities or all that it's just like real life experience i'm telling you this is exactly what happened with me when i have if if i want to focus on what i would make and what i want to buy and what i want to do to it's not going to be that uh motivating for me at some point, I said, what am I doing? Okay. But when I see so-and-so life is, is better because of this, it, keep, it keeps you um, uh, engaged and accountable. Like, you have to do it. it it's, it's like you cannot let them down. Now, when you have half a million people that are counting on you, I'll die before I let them down. So... Try it. It's a good recipe. It's a good uh, prescription. And it, it, it's guaranteed. It's going to work. And hopefully you join my club. And, and uh, we both uh, utilize this business and uh, make any amount. You don't have to do it. It's a lot of money, by the way, a million dollars. You can set up any goal. But, but keeping it open, by the way, I just want to make it and... and undefined number or goal is no goal it's random so how do you measure if you're successful or not or if you are getting closer or not or you're in the right direction of this is, so this is what helped me to be able to determine this is a crappy business or this is a real business if it doesn't achieve my goal i have a, 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 like a frame or or, or you know like a measuring tape, if you wish, okay? If, if it doesn't pass the meter and the th thermometer, uh, I'm not gonna do it, okay? Uh, so your goal could be $100 a day. I mean, you could live in uh, Papua New Guinea or in Egypt or in Ghana or uh, like there's some places in the Philippines or Vietnam, you could do a lot with $100, okay? Uh, but it's not for you. Le Make a hundred, double, okay? So, but you have to define your goal. It, it doesn't have to be uh, US dollar or money amount. What do you want to do? I mean, I want to uh, volunteer and clean up, you know, my neighborhood in the street or the parking lot or something, uh, every so and so. But you have to define exactly your goal. What do you want to do? I can tell you exactly what I'm going to do with a million dollar every day. 
And that keeps you on track because if you get off track, it's like, oh, no, 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 that's not where I want to go. Then you get back on track, okay? So it, you have to have a defined goal. And I advise you, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you real life experience, make sure it doesn't go all about you. If you have a little bit about others, okay, you're going to be more fulfilled and it's going to push you even harder, okay? Even if you're not there yet, but it will like, like I no longer have to live and sacrifice for myself and all that. It will give you um, that boost, okay? The, 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 the drive in your belly, the fire in your belly. I'm, I'm telling you, once you put a goal, and, and you get there, you, you, people start counting on you, whether one or, or many, uh, you're gonna have to uh, keep your chin up and fight for it. Never, never look back, all right? And I'm at this uh, state in my life. I would not look back. I would not let a lot of people who count on me or on the business to, uh, down at any cost. Hey, after all, it goes back to me. I'll be more fulfilled. My life will count more. So that was my dirty secret. Uh, I'm selfish. I'm looking for myself after all. So thank you for allowing me to pop in. I, I feel better because I was lonely and depressed and I needed to talk to somebody. Thank you, Mari. And thank you, Angie and Corinne. We thank you. Thank you. We always love if you stop by. Always. 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 Just just invite me. Okay. But you have to invite me. I have to put values like, okay, I'm walking without invitation. I'll be like a, you know, crasher. I don't want to crash your uh, momentum. You're doing great, Angie, and, and I appreciate you. Man, have you evolved? Do you recall not long ago, like how, like we were just breaking the ice? Mm -hmm. Look where you are today. I mean, we just replicated that. I don't know. Uh, Bridget said uh, she she didn't want to talk. Mm. Right? Is it is it her or someone else? Yes, it was her. Yeah. yeah. So hey, when you do it, you can. So do this. Let's do this. Okay. Let's jiggle, all of you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> just do it. Just do it. Listen up. Okay. I know we don't have music. You see, music. just just whatever you do, whatever you do, people are gonna do. It. Clap, clap, like like baby. People imitate you. I mean, if 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 you're if you're comfortable with what you're doing, but say not that business or uh, giving value or okay, people are gonna follow you. Attract who you are. Okay, so this is what I want to do. I'm gonna do it. You like it? You spit on me. You give me the middle finger. It doesn't matter. I'm going to do it. I like it. I'm determined. I'm clear. Some people will follow me. Don't give up. Don't look back. Are you going to translate that? Or are you gonna yes, yeah. You know, yeah, I'm, I'm just trying. Yeah. Um, if you I'm need there? help, let me know. I'm, I'm, I'm here too. <laughs> Wir hatten ja gestern den Event und das war einfach unglaublich. Ähm, ich, ich denke, viele von uns haben einen, einen Kater oder wie einen Kater von dem ganzen <lacht> Event. Ähm, er hat einige von euch gesucht, die jetzt unter uns sind, wie Mike Alice und so weiter. Ähm, schön, dass er sie hier gefunden hat. Ähm, er sprach über Geben und Nehmen, dass das eigentlich sehr, nichts mit Selbstlosigkeit, sondern dass das eigentlich sehr eigennützig ist. Wenn man hilft auch, um etwas zu bekommen. Und es fühlt sich gut an, wenn man hilft. Ähm, es, ist, ähm, es ist nicht hart aufzugeben, im Gegenteil, es ist leicht. Ähm, hier haben viele so tolle Geschichten erzählt und er weiß gar nicht, was er sagen soll, weil er weiß gar nicht, ähm, wie er da noch einen draufsetzen soll. Ähm, wollt ihr wissen, ähm, was er mit dem ganzen Geld machen möchte? Eine Menge. Er möchte gerne eine, eine große Menge an Benjamin Franklins haben. Die sind, Benjamin Franklin ist auf den 100-Dollar-Noten drauf. Er möchte gerne 21 Bündel alle 24 Stunden machen. Wenn man an etwas glaubt, dann ist es schon getan, weil man, weil man daran festhält. Ähm, 
er möchte gerne aufwachen mit seiner Familie und ähm, er möchte darüber nachdenken, was er mit diesem kleinen Extra machen kann, ähm, das übrig bleibt, was eigentlich eine große Menge ist. Ähm, er hat eine Mission, etwas Unglaubliches zu tun und es muss weise und fair entschieden sein, für was das benutzt wird, für was man das nimmt. Ähm, er hat große Zahlen gesagt, er will 30.000 Dollar pro Tag machen oder 7 Millionen die Woche oder 36 Millionen im Jahr. Ähm, egal was und überlegen, was man damit tun kann für andere. Äh, egal, jeder Glaube, jeden Unterschied, den wir haben, ähm, wir sind alle auf einer Mission ähm, zu helfen. Wir haben hier etwas erfunden. Es ist ein Done-Deal, also ein fertiges Geschäft. Äh, wir können uns auf niemanden verlassen, außer auf uns selbst. Wir machen das. Ich habe viele Dinge, er hat viele Dinge versucht, fast nichts davon ähm, würde mir das geben, was ich mir wünsche. Also haben wir das gemacht mit Don Pessel und äh, sind dabei äh, und geben nicht auf. Etwas muss, äh, muss ihn erfüllen, denn was hat man denn sonst im Leben? Er möchte nicht an anderer Stelle sein als genau hier, jetzt. Das finanzielle Ziel muss erreicht werden und er tut alles dafür, denn da sind 500.000 Leute, die sich gerade auf ihn verlassen und er wird nicht aufgeben, er wird nicht zurückschauen und das Kinn nach oben machen und immer weiter gehen und nicht zurückblicken. Wir werden Millionen, wenn nicht sogar Milliarden verdienen. Er möchte uns inspirieren, etwas Gutes zu tun und auch wenn wir dunkle Tage im Leben haben, sollen wir uns auf etwas Gutes fixieren fokussieren, entschuldigt, auf etwas sehr Großes. Setzt euch ein Ziel, egal welches. Und wenn es nur 100 Dollar pro Tag sind, egal, oder 200. Vielleicht die, einfach nur die Umgebung sauber machen, die Nachbarschaft. Wenn ihr ein Ziel habt, dann hält es euch auf dem Weg. Und es hilft uns dabei, ähm, dort zu bleiben. Und es sollte nicht nur um euch selbst gehen, sondern um andere. Dann gibt es ein Feuer in eurem Bauch, was hält euch genau da, wo wir, wo wir jetzt sind? Viele von uns haben dieses Feuer. Äh, eine Menge zählen auf ihn und äh, er wird uns nicht enttäuschen. Das ist das, was ich habe. Corinne, ich weiß nicht, ob du noch was ergänzen willst. Ja, es ist, es ist, das hast du super gemacht. Da ist die Essenz. Ja. Aber es geht hier darum, nicht nur auf uns zu schauen, sondern eben auf die anderen den Fokus zu ändern, wie du sagtest, und dann verbinden. Corinne und Angie, you don't, you don't have to translate the profanity. You can leave no, that No, we don't. Yeah. Just, just the dirty secrets. <lacht> er sagt, wir sollen nicht alles übersetzen, sondern nur, ich sagte, nur, nur die dreckigen Geschichten. So. Mm. <lacht> ähm, aber diese Verbindlichkeit, sagte er, ja, diese Verbindlichkeit, das macht es aus. Und das dann umzusetzen, dieses definierte Ziel, wenn wir kein Ziel haben, dann kommen wir nirgendwo hin. Und das ist das Wertvolle und er möchte uns inspirieren, uns wirklich auseinanderzusetzen für ein Ziel außerhalb von uns. Und das gibt uns richtig diese Kraft, diese Verbindlichkeit gibt uns Kraft, etwas zu unternehmen für das Gemeinwohl, für was immer, wie Antje auch sagte. Das soll, das ist, er sagt auch, das ist Glückseligkeit für ihn. Das ist seine Motivation. Und das ist, ähm, es ist manchmal nicht so einfach, aber er hat sich eingelassen auf diese Reise. Und als er das erkannte, ist er so glücklich und so entschlossen, diese Reise weiterzugehen. Und es ist, äh, irgendwann will er, wenn es passt, auch seine vollendeten Taten dokumentieren, wenn auch die Menschen das erlauben, die betroffen sind. Denn das kann manchmal heikel sein und es darf auch äh, im Geheimen bleiben. Es muss nicht öffentlich sein. Aber denkt daran, diese 10 Prozent extra, was könnt ihr dazu machen? Und ähm, ja, er sagt auch, es ist wichtig für ihn, immer wieder in, zu investieren, also das rückläufig ist in, die, in das Unternehmen, weil er da Großes, ganz vieles vor 
um Wachstum, den Wachstum zu unterstützen, zum Wohle des Gesamten. Also es kommt immer wieder etwas, aber wie ihr wisst, vielleicht habt ihr auch gehört gestern, er hat seit Jahren keinen einzigen Gehalt für sich und seine Familie herausgenommen. Die in Indien, die verdienen mehr als er. Und es geht auch darum, dass er ein Stück weit für sich natürlich um sein Überleben und seine Familie unterstützt, aber vor allem immer den Fokus eben auf das andere. Das gibt ihm die Kraft, und die Motivation weiterzumachen, das ist eigentlich seine Mission. Er ist ein Mann auf der Mission, um dieses weiterzugeben der ganzen Menschheit. Habe ich hier noch etwas? Diese Entschlossenheit, ja, die, 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 die Wertschätzung und den Mehrwert. Und er dankt auch Antje hier. Jetzt schauen wir zurück, wie sie sich entfaltet hat. Er erinnert sich, wie sie angefangen hat und heute ist sie da und leitet hier den Fireside Chat. Das ist ähm, also ganz fantastisch und er ist sehr dankbar, dass er hier auch jetzt seine Motivation teilen durfte und äh, bedankt sich an Antje und an alle, die das hier umgesetzt haben. Ja, äh, und setzt die Latte immer hoch. Wer, was ist euer Ziel? Definier dein Ziel, was immer du machen möchtest. Und äh, wenn du es genauer sagst, kannst du es genauer holen und genauer umsetzen. Das ist das, was er empfiehlt, so wie er es macht. Er hat genaue Vorstellungen und ganz genau äh, geht er eben auch diesen Weg weiter. Genau, das ist so etwa noch zur Ergänzung. Ja, also Entschlossenheit, Wahrheit und den Überblick und den Weitblick. Den Weitblick und die Verbindlichkeit. Danke. Sehr gut. Ach, oh, was ein Abend, Leute. <lacht> es ist volle Überraschung, it's full of surprises. Always, yes. so, you know. <lacht> so you thought it's uh, a minute for myself, or for you, I'm sorry. For us. Whom are you asking? All of us? All of us? Yeah, like, do you think I'm, I'm just doing it? Like, no, it, it, I... I say this, uh, of course not. I love my business, yes. but I'm not in business just for love. At the mm. end of the day, it has to, go, to give me some fulfillment. But I'm smart enough to know to not to base my fulfillment on things that only go around me or my personal life. Genau. When, you, when you expand it and, and put others in your circle, it's an easy, easier mission, yeah. Because they're going to follow you, they're going to support you. Genau, er sagt, er dehnt einfach seinen Weitblick aus, es ist so, oder? Er dehnt es aus und dann hat er auch diese Kraft und auch diese Kraft im Hintergrund und, und die Unterstützung von allen, dieses Ausdehnen und das, da lädt er uns ein, uns auszudehnen und weit über den Tellerrand, weit über, über, über unsere, unsere Begrenzungen, vermeintliche Begrenzungen zu schauen und darüber hinaus zu wachsen. I'm fooling depression. I'm dodging depression. So you don't come to me from this way. I'm going to turn around and, and bite you from the back. Genau, wenn er sagte, wir haben ja hier von Depression auch gesprochen und er sagte, macht einfach eine, ein, wie einen Umweg. Er, er, oder er, 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 fully depression heißt, er ist wie ein, ein, ein Narr, oder? Er lächelt der Depression an und sagt, ja, das ist okay, aber ich, ich tanze um dich herum. Es ist wie ein Tanz. Und ich tanze you know, um Uh, I'm sorry. Do, yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Go on. Do, do you know a, a wealthy person, maybe a superstar or something, that they have no money issue, they're very wealthy, but they're unhappy, they're miserable. Do you know any? It, it doesn't have to be personally, but have you seen the news maybe in the last 20 years or so? Okay. So, uh, so we know this. How come somebody with a lot of wealth but yet unhappy. In many cases, somebody at a very little budget, uh, they're, they're good, you know, one day at a time. And uh, the reason because if you're after wealth, there's a price for that called greed. Because when are you going to be fulfilled or satisfied? You're going to reach a billion, a million, all those aliens, okay? You're going to reach quartillion, and you're going to never be going to be happy. So if that's the, the, the parameter and the, 
uh, measurement to your uh, wealth or, or, or happiness and satisfaction, never gonna achieve it. Never. That's why they're lonely. That's why they're they're disconnected. They're detached from society. Those people, they don't belong. They're not normal. I, I have to tell you that. I have nothing against wealth, but uh, but what's the motive? What's the cause and purpose behind that? Uh, if it's only about just like to be the richest, the biggest, the largest, the wealthiest, and accumulate number, what? When is it going to be enough? You're not going to have everything in life. But if you say, listen, I look look at the, at the ratio here. I put a thousand, one in a thousand in my ratio, okay? Which is one, one thousand. Uh, let's put it this way, okay? One million for others, bigger goal. And, and 1,000 for me, that's daily. I don't know if you want to do it annually or... So three, I mean, half a million a year is plenty of money for a family of small people, it's plenty. But anything with that extra 350 million, wow, okay. You see, so your 1% or 1,000 becomes inevitable if your drive is is bigger for others you see and i can achieve it because if i'm after an unlimited number and it's open when is it going to be enough a thousand a day a trillion a day am i going to eat everybody's food come on it is shown so exact or is this what's what is the wohlstand and um was ist Wohlstand und in, in Bezug auf glücklich sein? Und der Grund hinter dem Wohlstand. Und wenn wir, es gibt, ihr kennt sicher Menschen, die sehr, sehr, sehr viel Geld besitzen und trotzdem ganz unglücklich sind. Schaut einfach in die Nachrichten, schaut einfach, ja. Und was hat das damit zu tun? Viele, die Geld anhäufen, für sich anhäufen, das kreiert eine Gier, das ist Greed. Ja, das kreiert Gier, die wollen immer mehr und mehr und das ist ein, eine, eine, wie eine Sucht. Und dann fragt ihr hier, was ist euer Parameter zu eurem Glück? Das geht also, es braucht eine Motivation und eine Absicht, eine klare Motivation, eine klare Absicht, um etwas zu machen. Er sagt jetzt, wie jetzt er mit seinen 1000 Dollar pro Tag für sich, für seine Familie und die eine Million für die anderen. Ja, das ist seine, 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 seine klare Vorstellung und äh, dann ist dieses eine Prozent wird ganz selbstverständlich verteilt und es ist ganz normal, aber wir müssen einfach diese, diesen, diese Gier und diesen Geiz rauslassen, denn sonst funktioniert es nicht. Das macht uns nur krank, das macht wirklich dann krank. Thank you. Äh, Antje, willst du noch ergänzen? Nee, hast also du super. <lacht> Sorry, ich bin jetzt auch gerade dran. <laughs> you, are, um, you, are, you are muted, Ash, in case you're talking to us. Do you want me to be more blunt with you? <laughs> Feel free, <laughs> of course. Never enough? Yes, yes I, just, I, love, I, I love blunt. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened is uh, I just did an experiment recently and uh, that was uh, giving away uh, some gadgets and uh, perks, uh, you know, laptops, you know, and, and, and phones and iPhones, okay, uh, a bunch of them, a whole a lot of them, okay, and I don't have to uh, uh, do that, uh, the reason I did it, uh, I just feel when so many in need for that, like, like, it's a critical need, it's not just a a luxury and I know I need it too okay we're talking about having a mobile or, or a device that you connect with the world with it in today's life and uh, your business is almost like based on it so I I know I come from a place where I know when I don't have it or it's not that uh, handy or functional okay like having a crappy phone okay 
Uh, and uh, uh, so I thought before I do that to myself, okay, I'm going to do it to others. Just when Mari de Garmo did his phone right now, like now, like this, and, and many others do it, staff. But by the way, did you know, probably don't know, not just the founders. I did it with a bunch of staff as well, before myself, okay? And they had it before me and they were like so against the idea for them to have an upgraded iPhone 12 Pro before myself or 11 who was so it's been a long, you know, uh, thing going. Uh, not that you're not going to feel bad, okay? Or feel a little bit selfish, like when you have it by yourself and you see others like, okay, still falling behind. But at least when, when it's fair, those who are uh, connecting and, and uh, making, uh, making progress with you, if you give them that reward, this is a real life experience, okay? I'm telling you. I didn't read that in books or anything. I like this phone. I love it. Not because it's just a phone. I've, I've had many phones, okay? I have a bunch of them are broken, okay? And the reason I like this, it reminds me I'm at the same level with my friends, with my partners, with my staff, with my team. Uh, it's just a very good feeling. I can't explain it to you unless you do it. So go after it and, and, and do it. I have mitgeschrieben. I can, Corin. Mach du. He had an experiment gemacht. He had many laptops and handys verschickt. That's probably some of you have heard. He said he must 